Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa to analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Osi Godwin and I have the two people who are always doing things behind the scene. <laughs> Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa yeah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> She's hearing something else. Leave her alone. Are you done? <laughs> we are still hearing it. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, ah, Ife, you didn't listen to my introduction. No, they're always doing things behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm ready. Okay, cool. Nigerian celebrities um, appreciate health workers. To celebrate health workers in Nigeria, Kiki Omeli spearheaded a move which saw celebrities sign autographs and now and then created um, into a collage to appreciate the health workers. The collage was presented to health, work health workers at the Bagada Isolation Center. Mm. Mm. I think they were moving to Yaba and Oniko as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I like it. I mean... It would be nice to have money and like other things and, you know, real support and stuff. But I think this is also very beautiful. I don't think it's every time that they, you know, that it's about love. Because that's the feedback I, I, I saw. So I'm talking about money to start with. I think even those... You are those not a picture of love. <laughs> I'm a war. <laughs> you are I'm a fight. fight. <laughs> you are in the <laughs> <laughs> uh, But it's nice. That I, I think the simple things go a long way. The, the thoughtfulness of it. I'm not... I don't... I might be wrong here, but I don't think, I don't think we have that um, culture in Nigeria to do little things. Like, if it's we not money, not really. Like, it's but what is saying, the big deal in all the people they mention? Just adding something. <laughs> they like, <laughs> like yeah, face yeah, marks or it. something. Just or juice or, or They probably did. They don't want to talk about it. Maybe. So, maybe. Yeah, but still, I still think that the thought is... The hamper. I mean, that's, that's, that's nice. little but yeah. big at the same time. Mm, just something to keep them. But it's but nice they that so they are, together. like, even thinking about it. The effort is beautiful. Um, the fact that they thought about that is also very nice. Um, it's something that we, we all need to be doing a lot more often because they're really trying for us. I think that lady that came out was a nurse, the last lady that talks about COVID-19, and said we should stop drinking ginger and garlic every night. That lady was was caring for people, and then she still caught the virus. People are going oh. through a lot. To that we should stop drinking garlic ginger, and ginger garlic. Why? It is, it's not, it's not, every, every day is more good. But day. like once in a while. Uh, yeah, every, too much of everything thing is, is bad, not, yeah. yeah. Um, I like what they did, at least um, it shows that we have the health workers in mind, even though we've always known that they are heroes right now, and I think they will forever be our heroes, because um, when this is over, if it's ever over, right? Hmm. So, <laughs> so um, I like this, and I think um, more people should um, add to this collage. Everything is not about given sometimes the thoughts the fact that these people know you're thinking about them you appreciate them and the celebrities as well what most we of them probably we want to send you to the isolation center to you know ex to, so that we, they can know that we support us i am things. a preacher of love <laughs> <laughs> i'm not a one that one don't worry okay so yeah. kudos to them anyway um kendall jenner agrees to pay ninety thousand dollars a settlement for fire festival lawsuits according to court document jenna was paid two hundred and seventy five thousand dollars for the instagram post yeah she was paid 250k i mean 275k and she has to pay, 90, and she has to pay that's small now she, uh, she still made money yeah. so mm -hmm. I'll, I'll gladly give that away mm -hmm. but um the fire festival though an interesting one it's, it's interesting. Mm, did you watch it yeah you did, I did. yeah oh well, we, i remember talking we watched a different one than the, that i that oh, i yeah, watched yeah, yeah. remember having that, that conversation what's interesting to me here is that an influencer is being charged for it so is it the I mean, I guess it's a responsibility because you're an adult and um, to look into things. But if somebody has presented something to you looking extremely legit, but then Jarry why am I... But got away with it because he it did. Looked... Very smart Jarry man. Jarry is not an influencer now. He was into their business. Well, he was, so, yeah, he he was, was in, the main face of the festival now. He, yeah. He, yeah, he was part of he them. Was the main, he was, was a, the main organizer. Yeah. He was one An of organizer, the main organizer, not the main face of the event. Mm. The main face of the influencers. Event was the influencers, okay, not yeah. them. Mm. And I think that is why, from what your angle, is the reason why she has to pay just $90,000 from the 275 to just say, you know what, we all contributed. 
in um, perpetuating, perpetuating this um, intentionally or it not It makes sense that she's paying something. Um, I'm sure if she's paying something, that means she did something wrong. Say, no, she didn't no, do. No, she didn't she have did to do anything Why would you? Wrong. Can I, can I, so you I think, think this, is just give money? To, this is just to encourage influencers to say, do your due diligence and probably have some values and know that, okay, this line I'm not going to cross. And even if they are along your line, you just go a, a, a step further to know if these people are reputable enough for you to promote. Because... Um, a scam message might be going around and nobody will pay attention. But if you come and say, oh, right, this is nice. So a lot of people will say, because Elsie have said, mm -hmm. I would want to do it because I believe that Elsie will not come and tell me to do something that is not um, real. So I think it's just to tell the influencer that they also have a level of responsibility. Who did she pay this money to? Oh. What the people that SOP settlements? Who did SOP <laughs> of course, you'd have given it to um, probably the court, and um, they would have sought out the people that mm. required. It's to sort it's it. such an interesting thing. I think this is something that has been marked in the millennial history that we will talk about. It has to be like the biggest, biggest scam, scam. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> biggest scam that we've seen so far. Like they got there till they got there. And they give them bread and sausage. It's just mad. Um, it's the kind of things that you expect, you know, from maybe this side of the world, not there. And for somebody who's so polished, like I'm waiting for an actual documentary on this guy and giving more insights on him because, yeah, there's there's definitely something there that is worth um, digging into. But I'm glad that, you know, it's not going to cost her anything because... I think he's a toxic entrepreneur. Yeah. From, from the one I yeah. watched. So he doesn't even know when to stop. Yeah. He just keeps going. Even when all the odds against you you're just oh no they've told me aspire to aspire this is just downtime there is a better pushing. one it is doable it is doable but you're seeing that it's this obviously is not doable. like yeah. it's not going to work but it, so i think he has an issue and even the one i watched he was already moving on to another place <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, he's a word you want being yeah. actually there's, yeah there's definitely more well um 90k out of 275 is just change. I change. I wish you paid more. 90k though. out of our bottom line, self is just. I see. You know? yeah. We cool. We cool. Do your due diligence. For fire festival, yeah. though, hmm. we'll always talk about that. I hope yeah. somebody can pick that up and make it work because I loved the idea. If mm -hmm. it was executed, I think the problem started when they lost the venue. Yeah. That was where yeah. everything became yeah. a big deal. And they lost the venue because of his own stubbornness mm. as well. They thought that but because we're paying you, yeah. we can bend the rules and do whatever we like in your vicinity and. Mm. Say no, this is in Africa where you buy them with money, you know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's time for a quick break. When we come back, we'll have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Minimal mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. Sometimes call the people that work for you just to test their attitude towards the average customer. Your workers can ruin your business um, you spent years building in a heartbeat. Zero tolerance for rudeness and unprofessionalism, especially now that a lot of people are looking for jobs. And this advice is coming from Uti Wachuku to business owners, I guess. And I think mm. this is very important. It's a very, very good advice. Um, I very. also like the caveat he added at the end where he said, especially now no. that a lot of people are looking for a job. I think this that should be the reason for people who have just deliberately decided not to take customer mm. service serious mm. to see it as their selling point yeah. now. Because the only reason I want to come back to you, especially when we're dealing online, is because of the way you made me feel. Yeah. So if I felt really bad and the next person is already advertising to me, I would rather take a chance to see how that person would treat me. Yeah. And I have so many options, you know. So I think this is really important. I think there's something about... Um, Nigerians and like being rude as like 
a selling point or something like <laughs> it's like a competition who can be crazier past who can be rude past like you know who i am i have grace i mean let's all be mad type of vibe um and people bring that to work and i think that's really disappointing mm -hmm. if you ask a question if you they see that the question is not itching them well they can just start to like fire you and then they do this whole like um screening thing where they judge by your appearance so yeah um, uh, I'm really small, so I always know people, first of all, think, okay, someone's a child or whatever. But by the time... Or this one can't afford Yes, oh, yeah, can't afford what, And me, I sometimes I even used to look like a crazy person, like I'm homeless or something. <laughs> I, you just see that people would, like, quickly switch up and be like... Oh, but then I start talking, it's like, oh, and then what do you want? Oh, no, no, no. And that's I think, the annoying I thing. That switch that's is the most annoying part for me. It's because it now bad. makes it clear that yes, you are... Exactly. What's the word now? Um, Stupid. That one. <laughs> what? I can't get over the fact that you said something like I'm homeless or something. Ah, yes, sir. But I, I think we have to get to a level. The only balance I want to bring into this conversation is that I also think we need to get to a level of training. So I know people who are doing that job and have never been trained before. I think some people have it natural that mm. they're very good with them. Um, customer service. service, they will smile. Why is burning on that? Them life is going on at home. They will smile. What do you want? Can I help you? You see a little frustration when they start to sigh, like, okay, madam, we're getting tired, but they're good at their jobs and they're friendly and they're smiling. I think some people just don't know how to be those people. Some people yeah. need to be taught and like walked through. You smile, you answer the question. If the person asks you a million times, answer a million times a different way, stick it around, be, be polite, and all that type of stuff. I think we also have to start looking at the working hours as well because when it comes to customer service, being a human being. You can get tired. As people taking breaks, are they having? Do you have water for them? Are you? Are they feeding? Is that you know a lot of things you know playing to hand? But I, the bottom line is obviously that I agree to his comments. And yeah, we need to start having a culture where you treat every single person that comes inside. The reason why I'm still with Etel was a mechanic guy that was smelling like like diesel from like you could smell him from afar. And he entered the shop, and the way this lady, he was in shop right, lucky. The way this lady attended to him, you would think he wasn't smelling like he just dr was dragged under from under a car. He looked mm. messy and she took her time. And I was even getting awkward because I was wearing something like, you know, I'm like, oh, please, bruh. Like, I was expecting all that, but it was really good. And that, for me, stuck. And that's the really reason why I chose it. So sometimes it works really well to have people treat others nicely. Like you said, you remember how they, you make them feel. If you guys are watching, please pay pay to the appropriate pockets because we just gave you free publicity. <laughs> so um, for me, I've seen a lot of um, customer service attendants, right, that just look at you and they just feel like because you're dressed in some type of way, they'll give you preference. And I think you already mentioned that. But um, some of them as well, I'm not even talking about the ones that can see you, the ones that you even mm. call on the phone, that they cannot even see you. Why? What is the excuse for being rude? Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Because it's okay to say that, okay, because this person is looking the type of way, let me be rude. It's Maybe you're not going to stand that homeless. No, okay. no, 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 no. <laughs> sorry, it's not okay, but no. In, you get it. In comparison to... I can't see you. We're just mm. talking on the phone and you're being rude to me. Why are you being rude to me? So I think those are the ones that really should be mm. checked because those ones are the ones that the MDs, the CEOs should start calling them anonymously and see the way. Ask them stupid questions on purpose. Mm. Do you understand? I and like, let's see the way they would react. Yeah. Yeah. Do you I, understand? I like how you brought up the fact that the MDs need to start calling. I think because of this type of environment, people need to be a lot more like hands-on with their company to see what's going on. It's not the kind of place where you can leave people to take initiative. You don't have a lot of professionalism no. around here. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So those are the ones that I think they should be called from time to time. See the way this person and be like, okay, good take, X. Good thing. Uh, and when you get to walk on my fire anybody. <laughs> you know, Babala, like, fire. Yeah, like fire anybody. I, I, I just think we need to do better though. Our, our customer service culture is yeah. extremely poor. I don't even think it just ends at these people that usually are the front desk or the customer care. Even those that are supposed to be making decisions in the company as well can actually be quite rude sometimes. Yeah. And they now tell you, you know, that want to put it where you want to put it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's just a, a weird situation. But I, I think that there are some businesses that are, have come into um, the environment in the last two to three years that are defining that yeah. space. And yeah. um, I just want them to keep at it because it's mm. easy to get tired, especially in this part of the world. But with time, um, it, will, it should yeah. hopefully become the norm. Because yeah. I'm saying that without a lot of hope. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> but yeah. I hope so as well. Yeah. 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 And then there's some people in restaurants as well. You're buying food. You're about to pay for your own food, and they talk to you maybe because you're asking them this one. This I don't one. want to go deep, and I'll tell you how they how how they treat ladies in the restaurant. Oh, so um, I went out with a friend, and I was supposed to pay not because I had more money, but we already agreed, and he sent the money to my account too. So let's just be clear. Anyway. <laughs> So you can't so pay. can't pay. I can't pay, but I just want oh, to be wow. clear in case somebody's thinking that I want to take them out. <laughs> anyway, so um, I was supposed to be the one to handle the bill. So mm -hmm. when she brought the bill, I was like, uh, Eledio, let me see. If you see the way she passed my hand. I went to the guy. I went to the guy. Mm -hmm. that, that one still, she's the one paying. You know, so it, 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 it happens in different areas of um, um, encounters. And mm -hmm. even in hotels, when you walk in, as long as a lady walking in, mm -hmm. You are there to see a man. Yeah. I'm very just, indecisive it's, it's when funny. I want to get food, right? Mm. And that's why most times I, I rather order online because mm. if I have to go to the restaurant myself, I'll be like, ah, oh, should I eat this? Should I eat this? They're already so their face. They're already, right, they're, they're already looking at you like, you buy said, don't be, to don't buy. be. A, a terrible and they don't show me varieties if you want me to be you know the worst is that they don't, don't actually they don't actually tell you like sometimes they don't even know if i ask like oh is that a, a meat pie or chicken pie ah okay and <laughs> like, 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 buy what you want to buy please like wow. come on no you don't okay do we need to move on if we stay on this we won't end because it's a lot but um marriage counselor i think it's a Ghanaian marriage counselor joy wilson wants couples to stop dating on social media she said and mm. i quote dating someone online isn't right the person could be faking or defraud you or do anything to you there's nothing wrong with meeting p new people online you could be new in the area so you want to get new friends but dating is a no end of quote i think the advice should have been be careful while dating online. Mm. And what don't does that even say, mean? Don't like, date online. What does she mean by date online? What do you, what does that mean? She said you can be friends, but that is don't start a relationship. Maybe you met a guy who is in America and you're in Nigeria. And but it then, has worked for some people. Yeah, it has actually. worked for some people. So that's why I'm saying that the Does she mean like that you shouldn't start a relationship online or don't even person. until you see the person yeah. or don't um keep the relationship to strictly online, like you have to take it to the real world because I, I, I feel like she didn't really... She like, didn't articulate Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Thoughts. She didn't really articulate because she started with that, yeah, you can start it off but take it to real life. And then she ended with, don't date online at all. So I'm like, sis, like, what are you on about? Me, I'm, they should, someone needs to make me an ambassador for dating online because that's my story. I met, on, I met the person online. Yes, we met a few, a few weeks after, after chatting and everything, but I met them online and I've met... Them? I've met him online, sorry, my, my current, my now, my now fiance, but the reason I'm saying them is because even before that, I've met a lot of people that um, I find really valuable today. We didn't end up dating because it was not, that we couldn't trans translate that chemistry online to mm. person, maybe physical chemistry or whatever, but they're still very vital. I think today, in today's world, maybe our parents' time was different, we can meet under the tree or something, but, <laughs> <laughs> but here, we don't really have that what anymore, that except, you you're, <laughs> except you're really like, not, I don't explain, if you have work or you live in Lagos, for example, where they, you spend all your hours in traffic, I don't know how you're don't going make to... make this lady give you work that you don't need to work. Abby? You don't need to explain this thing. People but are meeting like, people yeah. everywhere. everywhere. Even for yeah. me to say that, they used to know that people are meeting people everywhere. Because I am the person that will sit stand on the table to say, I'm not so comfortable with meeting people online. Especially when your yardstick is going to be, what does your profile look like? What does mm. your, all this, and you have to start mm. researching and all that. I would, if I have to choose between meeting people offline and online, I'll also choose offline. offline. But... Anything can happen. You can re meet someone who has it all together and has a good profile and it's not kind of a scam and something mm -hmm. kicks up and it's nice. So I don't think, I think people should be um, um, careful, like you said, generally, because online, offline. Before online came, people were still demons. Yeah. After online, we go if there will be a time like that. <laughs> <laughs> people will still remain demons as yeah. well. So just be careful and um, you can't be too careful anyway. Yeah. If it comes and hits you, just manage it like that. Yeah. I'm sure we'll get to a break. point where you just call me or just pop out of your phone. No, hey. hologram stuff. Is, is which 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 cast <laughs> taking no, hologram. over? hologram. It's not going to be the real me, obviously. No, but I, 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 I like think that hologram. she. Because for her, 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 what's it called? Her accolades that she has, I felt like she should have done better with this conversation. Like, I think we need to talk more about how you should maneuver around dating online. You know, it's not hard to have accolades, right? Like, you just gather, I sit there and write it. 
Mm, maybe. No. Because and, I thought you should be saying things like be careful, go with a friend, don't let them know your address, like things like that. That's the kind of stuff be I Googled before I even went online at all. Like it's a different type of careful when you meet them in person. You know, it's different. Like you have to be able to at least you have a mutual friend or does somebody know something like if he says they're working CNN, it's way CNN, is it does it you know, things what like is, that. Um, like, that's what I was Tyler expecting. Her movie, to, a fall from grace. What did they mean? Mm -hmm. Was he online? Offline. You see what I'm saying? Okay. And she was still scammed. Nicely. <laughs> Nicely. Even who did you speak about recently? That like oh, gym instructor. Yes. Uh, What's her name again? Um, the lady in. Um, Can't remember for the life of me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we are basically saying it happens. But mm -hmm. moving on, being real doesn't have to um, equal being mean. We all have to watch how we talk, regardless. Yeah. True I think though. this goes very well with um, the customer service. Thing, and yeah, that was from Deja actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, it has nothing to because they are not being real. They are just being rude. Who's that? She said she wanted to um, put uh, in with the customer yeah. service people. Mm. They are just being rude. They're not being real. Now those that are. Saying, I think I'm on this table actually. I'm on the table because well. I, I feel like if this is how I feel about something, I'm just gonna say it that way. I, but I'm, I'm, I'm gradually learning. Mm. It's not a process, but I'm learning to. Try. I'm on this table. <laughs> to sugarcoat as, my as, words as when know. I think it is necessary. Mm. If it's not necessary, that my bad side will come. I'll give it to you the way it is. <laughs> Take it as it is. But I get it. I get it. Yeah, I actually, think they call it the sandwich method. Yeah. So you you say something yeah. nice, you put the bad one in the middle, yeah. you nice it up again. And yeah, I, I think that's. I my, don't do that. I, that, I know that, someone I who does that. that my own saving yeah. grace. Our like, yeah. I'm allergic yeah. to body odor, yeah. right? So I'm the kind of person that ah, why they smell like this? Ah, you just they bow. Turn it to a joke. This is I'm allergic to body odor. <laughs> yeah, I'm very allergic to body odor. So I, I can sugarcoat it in some type of way and be like, why do you smell like this? Ah, you enter bush, you know, and everybody laughs and then I make it look like, sound like it's funny. But if it's somebody who has a touchy feeling, I can imagine them going back to a secret corner. And that guy embarrassed me like that. You know, that kind of thing. So mm -hmm. I think I'm also on this table. So I think we all can do better when it comes to people because not everybody can handle honesty. I If somebody tells me that, I may be affected, but I will best tell you to tell me how I did smell. <laughs> and, <laughs> I, I did really it's, smell. It's definitely like, definitely like a personality thing. I, yeah. I know when I first came back to Nigeria, I have said it many times on this table, I found Nigerians a bit too mean for me. Um, the jokes were not funny. It, it, I was like, e -e -e, like, this is much. The way we joke with each other on this side of the world is a little too mean. Um, and I think I, I I think I've now been a bit more desen desensitized to it a little, and I don't see it as much as when I first came back. But someone will say something, I'm like, I beg, or someone just, like you know, like it, it's a bit too callous. While in other places, there's a lot more like catering to your emotions and how you feel and all that type of stuff. So that, that it, 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 I understand where she's coming from, but it, it, with with. Um, Dija's conversation, I, I wanted to find out more about why she said that. Like, is this a personal experience? Because there's so many levels to being mean. Like, it could mm. be that. That, for example, is a very, like, shallow, like, very bare example. I think people can get a lot more mean, especially when it comes to, like, girlfriends, girl and girl. I think girl and girl here is a lot more mean. So I wish we could be able to, like, dissect more in regards to, like, what kind what, of meanness. Well, in what like, context? In what level, yeah, that she, she had that. Just try the sandwich method last, last. Mm. Just try to be nice. It's, it could be difficult if you are um, very no, real. Apart from yeah. being, it's it's okay to be nice, but the level of relationship you have with that person too matters a lot. You know, there are mm. people that don't just feel like, okay, because I'm a real person, because I'm not so cool with this person, I can just say the way I feel. Mm. So there has to be a level of, if it's somebody you're really cool with that can actually stomach it, then by all means, yeah, you can be that real. I know, I have to learn how real. to use my words, but yeah. I know. there are people that you're not so cool with, and then you just feel like, okay, because I say it how it is, I just say it like that. You don't know what those people are dealing with. Yeah. You don't even know why. But at the same time, why. there are things you want to say that you can only say it as it is, yeah. for it to hit the way Yeah, if you know hits. that that is your intention <laughs> to be mean. <laughs> mm. No, you got to be mean. Or you're to being say it to real. make sure that you drive home the point. Yeah. By all means, please okay, cool. be real. You get, but if you know that it is something that could have been said in, in, a, nice better, in a nicer way, way please try to say it in a nicer way okay is you here mm -hmm. oh yeah working okay. on it. yeah we're working on it thank you for watching and uh, thank you as always you go to my co-anchors ife omai and ife olu or shankaye and the entire production team do send your opinion via whatsapp to 090 or twitter to us at plus tv africa my name is osi godwin please do stay safe